Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me James. Hope you guys are all doing well and today we're going to complete level 1 of Tomb Raider 2. And this is where I came into the franchise. In 1996 the original Tomb Raider game came out but I couldn't afford a Playstation back then. It was in 1998 that I actually got my copy but I do remember seeing it on a friend's screen and actually seeing Tekken on a TV and this was a game that I'd been playing on the arcade had finally come home. There's been so many Tomb Raider games over the years and I remember back in the late 90s there was no escaping Lara Croft. She was everywhere including adverts for your pop and I even had a poster on my wall I know my girlfriend at the time wasn't too happy about but yeah Lara Croft was the first female protagonist that I can remember in a computer game it was in 1998 that also Final Fantasy 7 came out and when I saw the trailer on the TV I just said that's it I've got to save up everything I can and get myself a PlayStation and I did in fact a friend of mine at work sold me a bundle and I got several games one of which was Tomb Raider 2. Now I have played the Tomb Raider remakes but I don't consider them to be the same game anymore. For what they're worth I did enjoy them but I've always waited for them to be in the sale before I've picked them up and for me nothing can beat the original Lara Croft. I was always disappointed that in the first game you didn't get to dual wield pistols until right at the end in a boss fight and even that I felt was cheap taken away from me because I had to press an A or a B button and it was just a cutscene. I know there's been numerous other Tomb Raider games but for me number two was the game that I enjoyed the most and I think maybe I've just had my fill of platform games, I don't know. So we're going to dive right in and play level 1 of Tomb Raider 2, The Great Wall, and straight after I'm going to just take a little look at a fan made game by Nicobas, which is a free to download game, if you just google Nicobas and Tomb Raider I'm sure you'll find it, but uh, I'll put his name in the description down below as well, and I'm just going to play just the first couple of checkpoints just so we can compare the two. So this is Tomb Raider 2, and it's been a long time since I played this, nearly 25 years old can you believe? Ah oh, yeah I remember the helicopter going across the top there. Now I've had a couple of warm up rounds, uh, I had a little go round the mansion just to try and familiarise myself with the controls again, but I think I know this map like the back of my hand. can't remember how to do the handstand, just wanted to try and show off and to handstand at the top there. But yeah, the PlayStation 1 camera was always a bit wonky and I remember you just have to get to the back here and do a sort of diagonal jump. There's no way I could speed run this game. But I remember you'd have your mates round and, you know, we'd all show off how quick we could do level 1. In fact, when I first got this game I thought I was okay at it but my mate came round and then showed me the secret way to do it. And I was like, oh wow. So it had so much replay value. Okay, so we just got to jump across here to get the first stone statue. Shoot this endangered species. <laughs> and it's really hard. You can't sort of target. You kind of just have to watch Lara to see when she starts pointing at the tiger. I don't actually need to kill it unless I fall down there. It'll be, oh, there you go. We got rid of it. Okay, so here's the first statue. This one's quite easy to get, the stone one. Uh -huh. But you need to get all three. Alright, we need to get up the wall here. Oh, that was a mistake. This isn't a speed run, by the way, guys. <laughs> I'll do my best. Right, back for it, Mara. There we go. Jump up here. We've got to climb up the Great Wall. But yeah, can you believe this game is 25 years old now? I remember when I originally got my PlayStation 
And this was the first Lara. This was the first Team Raider game I actually got to play, and I was really quite good at it. I'm much be I was much better than I am here. Okay, it's just backflip, and you kind of got to do a lot of these jumps blind and know when to jump. It was notoriously difficult, actually, I thought, the first level. Just getting up to the top here took me quite a long time to work out. There was nothing holding your hand back then, that's for sure. Nothing to point your way. Games were hard back then. They've got a lot easier. Okay. Yeah, we've got to jump and stretch out here to make this one. There's a key just over here. Oh, that's not a key, it's the uh, door trigger. Okay. I've mapped it onto an Xbox controller. I'm not playing on the original PlayStation, I'm on the PC. And I can't do the side steps, I can't map them buttons. I haven't got anything to map them to. It doesn't register the triggers. So it's a, it's a little bit strange. They're taking a lot of bullets, these crows. Always found the targeting harder, hard to do in this game. It got even harder when you got to Venice. <laughs> okay, Let me get rid of this crow. How many bullets? <laughs> okay, he's got it. Finally. Now can I dive off here? True pro can dive. No. Oh. I'm sure it was push forward. Never mind. Okay, so we need this key. Once you pick this up, there was a tiger that spawned up the top here, I think. I can still remember this level like the back of my hand. I really can. I don't know, that's just a testament to how well it was built. And I suppose some of you would be looking at this thinking, oh, what is this? But at the time, it was it was absolutely incredible. It was my first introduction to a platformer like this, and the music as well. I'd been used to 16-bit music, and this had proper music. I mean, even now, I'll, I'll probably put the original track on just at the start when I do an intro but even now when you hear that track it, you know it just it just makes the hairs on my arm stand up it's like oh what a tune I don't know okay so we just got to get up back up here I remember actually getting stuck on this wall for ages thinking the game's broken okay before I found the key but they made you work for stuff back then. Okay, so it's just round. There's a couple of spiders here. Got to take care of. I missed, I missed the dual wielding. I think that's one of the things I didn't like about the new remakes was, to me, Lara Croft always dual wielded pistols. And the new game, oh, it never did that. Apart from the last boss fight at the end, which, yeah, well, I don't know, which was just a cutscene and a, a little dance move thing, just remember which buttons to hit in a row. It's kind of a disappointment when you get to the end of a game and they do that. But, hey, you know, just have to... That's, that's 2020 gaming. What was this? Uh -huh. 2000 and this was uh, 1997 and back then there was no hand holding no things lighting up the way to go okay keep going past because the action button does this is where I could use the sidestep that's going to be my excuse if I fail <laughs> okay. Is that door open? There's a few spiders in here. There they are. Just hard to target them. 
Oh, there's another one. I think there was four in here. I think that's all of them. Get that med pack. Uh -huh. Please, I don't know if the spider hit me, but there's a couple of obstacles going up, so... Okay, now if I remember right, this is the water part. In fact, I know you do. You slide down here into the water. I've done this level so many times. And you just need to shimmy across here for quite a bit. Again, I remember when I first came to this, I just ended up getting cut up by all of the traps. But. It was just to let you know that this is a new way, new thing you can do. You can hang on here and shimmy. So I am probably going to, in fact, I will, in fact, save it um, once I get to safety here because the next bit's quite difficult. And I just wanted to get through it, but just in case. It's getting the Jade Dragon that I always find difficult. If you, if you don't hit it exactly right, you get crushed. This bit is quite tough. So the camera sort of switches behind you like that. Yeah, it's best to stop just there for a second, otherwise you end up running into a wall. If we get in the middle, we didn't get in the middle, so we can't get the ammo. If we flip to the side, we won't be in the right place. So we just have to jump it. So we missed out on some ammo there. But this is the Jade Dragon, we have to get this. Oh. We could just about make it, we're going to get a little bit of damage. No, nope, we made it. We just need to stick to the right. Okay. And, oh, I've landed a bit too far forward. Gonna have to step backwards as well. Okay, that's it. That's that little bit over with. Um, there is a med pack there, but I don't really need it. I'm sure I won't need it. Now, you can complete the level by just getting this zip line. And I remember when my fir friend first showed me this. I was like, oh, this is so cool. Really cool secret. One of the one of my favourite Tomb Raider levels. So we've just got to jump back here. And then there's this little ledge you can shimmy across. Oh, need to be straight on. And this is how you get the last the gold dragon. And if you get three, all three secrets on one map, you generally get an extra weapon and a lot, a load of extra ammo, which carries on through the map. So the more you discover and the more you find in Tomb Raider, the more prepared you are towards the end. It's certainly a good reason to encourage you to go off and have a look. Okay. We can just sort of let go here, but don't want to let go for too long, otherwise she will fall and die, but... I just picked up some flares there as well. And... There is a lot of dark places in Tomb Raider 2, so it was necessary to throw the flares around. So here, to trigger this dinosaur, you need to get down to the second skeleton and flip round. It's best to take them out from in here. This is how I used to do it. Here, yeah, when I first saw this, I was like, what, there's dinosaurs in the game? I didn't know that. But yeah, this is kind of like the secret. Takes a while to get with a pistol. 
can do a lot of damage if it hits you. I think it's a one hit. Oh, oh yeah, hit there. Or maybe it's not a one hit, but... Hey. There you go. Just for anyone there who thought, hey, where, what, what's going on? I'm missing the dinosaurs. Well, of course, there's some dinosaurs for you guys. <laughs> and here we go. Just at the bottom here, and this will trigger the next dinosaur. And we got a grenade launcher. So, let's give the shotgun a go, because I'm not going to play level 2. We're just doing the first level. See what this does. Can't get me. <laughs> oh, maybe you can get me. I didn't think you could get down here. <laughs> That's got him. Okay. So, yeah, that was the secret. And I always thought it was really cool when my friend showed me that and I thought, hey, I know how to get past this game, but I, I didn't and I was certainly playing it wrong. And, oh, just jump up here. Can I jump up? It's difficult without the sidestep. Might be better off back flipping. Oh, there you go. Okay, so we'll light a flare this time so we can see where we're going. Unfortunately, it's really hard to get to the edge. It's even tougher to reach that rope up the top without falling off the edge. <laughs> okay, that's just... That should do it. There we go. There's no quick way back up to the top. We have to climb this ladder. But I'm impressed with myself that I can still remember this <laughs> after 20 odd years but that probably shows you how many times I played this after we complete this as well I was going to show off another game it was a fan made game of the Great Wall and the first mission in Tomb Raider and it was made on the Unreal Engine and it looks really nice so I was just going to play a couple of checkpoints just to show you show it off and oh, perhaps you want to give it a go yourself okay I'm trying to do the backflip then you can usually do a handstand but I can't remember the buttons okay so we just need to get this zip line over here but I'm pretty sure that when you step near it, it triggers a couple of spiders. Just have your weapons out. There they are. I think I got them all. Okay. So I need to be really careful getting near the edge of this because it's so easy to fall off it and I better put the weapons away. Um. In fact, actually, I'll get the grenade launcher out because there's a couple of tigers that we can use that on. And I'm not going to take it through into the next level. Okay, just, just slowly get to the edge. Don't fall off. There we go. Oh, and don't let go either. <laughs> and, and there we go. There's a tiger waiting for us right here. Two of them. <laughs> oh, I missed one. <laughs> the grenade launcher makes short work. Okay. And that's it. That's level one of Tomb Raider 2. We'll just enjoy the cutscene at the end here. And uh, then we'll just take a quick look at uh, the fan made game. Pardon me, if that was just your way of trying the doors for me. <laughs> With a tommy gun on my keyring. Though not anymore. So after you. Somehow, you don't behave like you got a monk's blood. I understand that somehow is in my favor. So indulge me about the dagger. 
I'd be indebted with your life. These doors are waiting for the right one. The right time to arrive. And then the dagger's blade will honor the hearts of those who believe. So unless you pledge your loyalty as well... And which one is that? To the sins and fortunes of Marco Bartoli! Perhaps not just yet, then. Aha! Uh -huh. Gianni Bartelli. Via Caravelli, Venice. Okay, so this is Tomb Raider 2, the fan remake by Nico Bass, and it's just a demo, he's only managed to do the Great Wall, the first level, oh, and I've just missed the helicopter. Ah, oh, James, what you like? But I'm just going to play the first couple of checkpoints, because it plays slightly differently to obviously how the original Tomb Raider played, and I didn't want to spoil it in case you guys wanted to download it and have a go yourself, but you can still do the classic handstand. And yeah, he's done this on the Unreal 4 engine, and it looks really nice, and total respect to you for making this free and having a go at it. So the puzzles do work differently to the first one, but essentially it's the same. We need to climb up to the Great Wall. And I just had a quick go before, just remembering how to do this felt more comfortable using the mouse and keyboard than I did with the joypad. And where did we do here? So I like the way that Lara Croft looks in this. It looks like looks more like classic Lara. The ponytail, dual wielding pistols and the tank top. There we go, yeah we just have to flip and turn round. Um no we can't jump that way. That way, I think it's up. If I just get her in the middle, we should, yeah, we can shimmy up the top here. Okay, we've reached our first checkpoint. And um, I'll just back up a bit. So I am using a mouse and keyboard. I was much more comfortable with a mouse and keyboard. So, yeah. let's do the acrobats again. Show off. And it looks really, really nice, actually. It's done a super job. Oh, stirred the tiger. Okay. I don't think he's... I don't know if it spawns down there like in the old game. Okay. I'm liking this. I'm liking it. Okay. Just get out of the top here. Yeah. Looks like there's a few steps. We just need to shimmy along and get in the middle. Oh. Um. Another jump here. There we go. Yeah, we've had to traverse it right round. 
There we go. We're up to the Great Wall. I didn't mean to do that this time. <laughs> I'm doing it every time now. Just to make up for not doing it when I did my run earlier. I did try, but the buttons weren't working. I used to be able to dive and do the handstands. Okay. Let's jump it. Oh, yeah, we just made it. Okay. So I think we can grab onto these bricks that are missing. Yeah. I think I probably should be using a controller and not the keyboard and mouse. Although that is one thing I will say about the new remakes, actually. They played really well on mouse and keyboard. Um, even though it is the type of game you'd usually play with a controller. But, hey. Okay. So. The old game we fell through the floor as we went to the right. There's nothing in the corners here. It's asking us to go into the middle. And there you go. Okay. So before in the last level we had to jump across to trigger a switch. It was a difficult jump. This time he's put some different puzzles in. So I'm going to show you how to do this first one, but I'm going to leave the rest of them alone because it's only a short level. And those of you that want to give this a try yourselves, it's more fun trying to figure it out yourself. I like the fact that it's slightly different. Okay, right, that's got it. And let's just get in the middle. Like so. Yeah, the Unreal Engine does look great. The light and everything, the way it reflects. Okay. Jump. Jump backwards. We got it. It's a little bit more acrobatics. I quite enjoyed this one actually. It took me a little, little, little bit of time to figure it out. And there we go. It was this bit that I got stuck on because I was like, okay, well, where do I go to now? But it actually shows you. It says if you press your space bar, you can jump backwards. <laughs> Even managed to make a little cutscene there. But it's nice. It's nice. It's kind of a nod back to the original as well. So we know that we're going to get some crows here. At some point, well, we should do. Does it look like we jumped the side? Okay, that doesn't look great as well. Can I kind of imagine if they had a redone number two? Something tells me maybe there'd be a secret back there. I know that there is secrets as well in this. Target a bit better. <laughs> okay, that's another checkpoint reached on the Great Wall, and I am going to leave it there just in case some of you would like to download the demo yourself and just figure out the last puzzles. But hats off to Nico Bass for doing this fan made game for free. It really does look really good, and I appreciate the fact that you've changed some of the puzzles, but kept it still the same for that nostalgia hit there. Really, really did enjoy it. Don't forget to let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this episode. It's the first time I've ever tried to do anything like this, and perhaps cover a game from my past in one episode. I'm used to doing more guides, 
and long plays but just covering something on a short term one off let me know if you enjoyed that and if you'd like to see more but until next time i'm james from complete games and i'll see you